Today I'm going to be making some super moist jumbo banana muffins. In my bowl I have three very very ripe bananas. I'm going to grab my mixer and start breaking these down. You can see how easily this is breaking down with the mixer. These are extremely soft. Okay, that's pretty good. Once they're broken down, I'll get in my first egg. And then my second egg. And at this point, you can put your mixer on a little bit faster to really get this well incorporated. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm going to put in a half a cup of unsalted butter. And this is room temperature butter. So that is one half of a cup. Okay, that's good. So then I'll grab my mixer and I'm just going to mix this up. Okay, that's good. And then we'll get in our one cup of granulated sugar. So now we're going to put in one cup of granulated sugar. And we'll mix that in. Okay, that's good. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then we'll mix this in. And then we will get in our sour cream. And then our sour cream. This is a half a cup or 125 milliliters. That's good. And I'll also add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll grab our mixer and we'll mix this in. All right, that is good. And now we are ready for our flour and baking powder. So now we're going to sift in our flour. I have a cup and a half of flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. And we'll get that right into our bowl. That's perfect. We'll grab our mixer and we'll slowly mix this together. That is good, just like that. And for our last ingredient, I have a good cup of walnuts here. I'm just going to give them a fast chop and then we're going to dump these in. Okay, now I'm going to get all of my chopped walnuts right in there. And because these are muffins, you want to chop these a little bit more on the fine side. If this was a banana loaf, it wouldn't matter as much because you're going to be slicing into it, but because these are muffins, you want to make sure that the pieces are a little bit smaller. We'll grab our mixer and just mix that in for a few seconds. Perfect. So I have my jumbo muffin tin ready to go. And I have sprayed this with cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, you can take some margarine or butter and just grease each one of them. And that's very important. And now we're just going to start filling these up. So I do have my oven set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake these for five minutes at 425 and then I'm going to reduce my oven to 375. Perfect. I'll put this onto a cookie tray, into the oven, and I'll be back in a while. All right. This is exactly 25 minutes later. So these were in for a total of 25 minutes at 375 and also five minutes at 425. So I put them in 425 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes 
Then I drop my temperature down to 375 and I let them go an additional 25 minutes. And I have a little bit of burning going on. I should have been watching them a little bit more carefully. So I would say at 20 minutes, they would have been done. So I should have let them go five minutes less. We'll get these out of here. And hopefully, they will just come right out because we sprayed our pans really well. I use my little skewer. I'll get those out. They're not too bad. Oh, they do smell really good though. Yeah, five minutes less would have been perfect for these. So if you try this recipe out, make sure you do them only for 20 minutes. I'll just back these up a little bit here. So I'm going to let these completely cool down and then I'll break into one and show you how nice they look inside. So these have cooled right down. So let's break into one. I want to show you what they look like inside. And look at that. Still very, very moist, even though I did them a little bit too much. That extra five minutes would have been nice if I had taken the time to really check them. But look at this. Beautiful and moist. They smell so good. I'm going to have to try a piece. Mmm. Really, really good. And I love the walnuts in there. Super, super moist. Oh, yum. So I hope you try this video out. If you do, make sure you check them at 20 minutes so that you don't overdo them that little bit like I did. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Mmm. That is good.